was uh, talking about the both dead now and they used to I remember people saying oh Fred West used to come in here and stuff like that yeah so everybody all of the always the same as all right <laughs> can have been that all right I think Fred West had walked up here and stayed up there this is where he fled from so in 1976 guys this is where Fred West spent his summer holidays around here in Brampton <laughs> Cromwell Street, Gloucester, England. An ordinary house in an ordinary street. Number 25 was the home of a local builder and his wife, bustling with children and topped up to the brim with lodgers. The only thing that distinguished number 25 from the others was the amount of people that came and went. Fred West liked company. He also liked to maim, molest and murder. But was this seemingly ordinary man driven to the slaughter of at least 12 women and children? Or was Fred West born to kill? Right guys, as Fred, Fred West was up here on his summer breaks and summer holidays, whatever, he used to come up here a lot with work as well. He used to work for the British Gas, for British Gas, I should say. He'd done a lot of work, pipe work and stuff up here in Cumbria. Um, he'd done a lot in Carlisle. And I'm sure he'd done a bit of work behind the Tesco's in Whitehaven as well. And the pipe work and underground stuff there. I think he was just an all-round person who was good with his hands. If that makes sense. I don't want to have to come where that sounds wrong either. <laughs> good with his hands, murderer. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is where he spent his summer holidays here where we are right now. As you can see, we've got the lake there as well. It's like a popular tourist spot now, I think. I've never been here before. But yeah, it's all it's all in his book. Um, it's all in the book that he wrote in prison. Well, then again, I'm saying he wrote it in prison. He actually didn't even go out of prison, did he? He was on like remand, and I'm sure he killed his cell in 1995 before he even got sentenced. Fred West was described by Richard Ferguson, prosecuting QC at the trial of Rosemary West, as a man devoid of compassion, consumed with sexual lust, a sadistic killer, and someone who had opted out of the human race, the very epitome of evil. Yeah, as you can see, it's picturesque round here, guys. Um, this is where Fred West spent most of his summer in 1976. He used to stay in the pub and hotel, which we're going to check out later on in this episode um, the belted wheel it's called so yeah let's jump right into the video and check out some of these places Fred West in Cumbria let's do this you could put on this act as a, an amiable row but it was only to put up some kind of disguise and underneath that look this monster Someone may have evil written all over his face, and yet people miss it. Right, guys, we're on the way to the Bellied Will Hotel and Pub Restaurant right now. Um, yes, yeah, so and this is the exact road where Fred, we Fred West would have been um, taken to get here. Right guys, we've just arrived at the Bell Idwill right now. I'm going to read this article out which I said I was going to read out to you guys when we got here. So this is from the local newspaper News and Star and it goes on to say obviously that they found that new body about a few months ago now. Um, so it was writing about that. It says West, who committed at least 12 murders and then took his own life in prison in 1995 before facing trial spent several months in Cumbria lodging at and drinking at the Belted Will Inn where we are right now um, and he also stayed in Brampton for the long hot summer of 1976 that's where we've just been so it was probably hanging around there most, most of the time um, the killer's time in Cumbria was outlined in a book Fred and Rose by journalist Howard 
Um, he wrote that during West during West's stay here, he turned into a radio phone. He tuned in to a radio phone in, in which callers offered household items for sale. A lady who had been trying to sell a gas fire on the program later received a call from Fred and it went on to say, I'm not interested in the fire, he said, I'm far more interested in you. He pestered the woman with telephone calls, often obscene, for several days later. Um, it was also reported that West disappeared from the Belted Will Inn without settling his £7 bill and leaving behind a suitcase of clothes and his uncollected pay, suggesting it seemed he had been picking up women in his usual way when something had gone wrong, forcing him to fled. flee. Flee, I should Flee. say, yeah, yeah. yeah and West was never seen in Cumbria again. Um, the, cur the current landlady of the belted will, Alison Foster, who had run the establishment for the past 21 years, said, When we took over the pub, we were aware that Fred West used to come here and some of the regulars remembered him. Um, the murders, ten of which were committed with his wife Rose, in, it was all wrote about in 1995 in a book. Uh, and yeah, that just goes on to say like all the other murders and stuff. But we're here trying to focus on just the Cumbria, Cumbria side of things today, guys. So yeah, but yeah, don't know if you can see this, but we're at the welded in there. That's it there, just on the camera, guys. You guys got the table and chairs outside and stuff. And Fran used to come here, didn't you, love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it like inside? Dark, gloomy. Is it? Yeah. He's dead old. Used to be. I wonder if it's been refurbished. Could have been. It was a long time ago. Over six years ago when I used to come here. If you passed Fred West in the street, you wouldn't give him a second glance. He had a wife and had six children. Fred West was a chameleon. His neighbours would have told you that he was a very hard-working, likeable, friendly chap. On the face of it was a completely ordinary builder, handyman, a very jovial fellow who got on well with everybody. He did fit in with, with the normal flow of life, even though he was profoundly abnormal. Many people would be taken in by him because he was plausible and charming. So the last thing in your mind is that he might actually uh, harbour terrible evil. The great mystery of the whole thing is what drove them to do this? You're talking about two people who literally have plumbed the... That's right guys, this is the pub. This is where they stayed. There is people inside though, so I don't know how this is going to go to be honest. This is where he spent his um, summer. Belted really. So just gonna see the person at the bar or so I still actually do still do rooms and stuff. No vacancies. Let's go in and check it out. I don't really have much information to be quite honest. <laughs> uh, I can remember there was uh, so well, they're both dead now and they used to I remember people saying, Oh Fred West used to come in here and stuff like that. Yeah. Said, Everybody all of the homies the same was alright. <laughs> can I be that alright? Oh no. <laughs> so but yeah, seemingly there was a lot of people that worked on that gas line <laughs> they're all today do you because it was the only place with rooms and things. Yeah. Hi, Feel free to have a bit wander around and stuff and do some yeah. filming and stuff. Yeah. So did the, um, do you know where the gas line 
run from or not? Oh no, it's up on oh, the fell. Up on the fell. It's up on the fell. Like oh, we don't it? have gas in the village. Oh right. Well, although there were work uh, on it, so uh, there's no gas. I don't know where, where it comes from or where, but it, like, we're all working up on the fell. Oh right. So, uh, oh, yeah. we're there. Get them cakes. I could scan you into them. I'll start off in the main bit. Because it looks like obviously all the same. This is like the original. See, most things do look original, don't they? Like mm -hmm. the old chairs and the old stuff like that. Yeah, it's an old pub. Nice. Oh, yeah, bye. 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 Having his beer. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll just have a walk around and go from there. Yeah. Well, this will be like the same, wouldn't it? This is when he was here. Yeah. He's ordering his drinks from here and stuff, staring at you obviously in the rooms upstairs. As you heard, they're fully booked. <coughs> Nobody having the mails, is there? He would have like sat down in here guys and had his meals went up to his room and it's crazy to think of isn't it? Do you think he was killing people while he was staying here? Maybe. He had to, f he had to flee as well didn't he? That's what it said. Listen, this is um, where he stopped. It's like a little house as well, isn't it? It's more gas. I can't smell anything. I can. Isn't it weird how like wherever we go we're smelling gas? Anyway, it's probably this old fire. You probably just turned it on. Oh yeah. Yeah, because my lips stood next to that. Yeah, that's weird though, eh? Yeah. Like, I guess all this is like original. She says like the rooms have been done out, so I'm guessing the rooms upstairs she was meaning. Yeah. Yeah. been done out, not down here. Yeah, this is where Fred West did when he come to Cumbria. Eight years and stuff, and it's not changed. Yeah, I think I've been here once just to play like pool and stuff. Yeah, we've come for pool and had a meal once here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's not changed. Same, same seats. Just where you would have stayed up them stairs, eh? I think Fred West would walked up here and stayed up there. You see where he fled from, leaving his suitcase and his. Yeah, Money behind and um, everything, so okay, that's not me. Just left it all behind and fled Cumbria. And no one ever seen him since. Pretty crazy, isn't it? When was it you stayed here, do you know? Is it 1976, is that right? Uh, early 70s as far as Early 70s. Know. Yeah. So has it much changed around? Like no, the bar will be... The bar was done in 73. Yeah. So, I would imagine it would be similar. Similar. Then. Well, I was born in 76, I would have remembered that if it had been 76. Uh, it was early 70s, whatever year the, the pipeline yeah. came through was when... Yeah. So if you looked it, looked it up when it came to this area, it would tell you exactly. Yeah. I think it ran for a couple of years though, didn't it? Yeah. Dad worked on it for a bit. Just for doing a 
We've done Yorkshire Ripper. Yeah. Um, who else have we done? Ian Brady. And then, because we wanted to do Fred West, but obviously it's travelling like down to like London, where is yeah. it? So we thought yeah. we'd just do like a local oh, one. Phil, you've never so, done so. It's interesting though, isn't it? So. Yeah. 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 So if people want to come and check out here, what, where where do they come? What Just do you mean? To find you. He's on he's on Facebook, yeah, aren't you? Facebook, you? yes, Facebook really. So. Belly Dwill on Facebook. Yeah, so. yeah, come and check it out. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> All right, cheers for that. I've oh, got no, I've got my shots and that I needed. Oh, cool. So. No, All right, let's spot on. on. I will. No, no, cheers. Thank you. Bye. There you have it. That's where um, Fred West stayed, the belted wheel. If you want to go and check them out, guys, hit them up on Facebook, say that I sent you. And yeah, on to, on to the pipe works and stuff then. From now on, guys, I'll probably fill them up another day, but yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Hang on a sec, what did you think of how the bar was original from 73? What do you mean? What does that Like, mean? who's touched that bar, eh? Yeah. Like, I know I sound like a weirdo, <laughs> but that's, a shit, like, one of the world's fucking worst serial killers has been in there and touched that bar, ate oh, and shit. slept inside there. Probably drank out the glasses. I bet they have some old glasses. Aye. What do you think? He's weird, isn't he? Yeah. Dead weird. In there, guys, that's where Fred West stopped. Whew. Right on to the pipelines, let's go. Frederick Stephen West was born on the 29th of September 1941 in the rural Hereford village of Much Markle. A tiny agricultural community cut off from metropolitan life, this rural idyll would be where the young West grew up. The second of six siblings, Fred was a striking child with a shock of curly blonde hair and piercing blue eyes. But how did this blue-eyed boy turn into one of history's most vicious and heinous serial killers? Right then guys, we're in Whitehaven now. Got the old mines up there and stuff. But what I have come here for is see this great building over here somewhere guys on the camera. This, that is behind the Tesco's, which I don't know if you can make out on the camera, which is over here somewhere. That's Tesco's, and this is where um, Fred West was working, putting the pipelines and all that stuff in. Just over there. Um, but yeah, there's literally not, not much I can show you here in Whitehaven, I mean we can't even get close to there, it's so busy today and stuff and but we've been round the trail of Fred West, his time in Cumbria, there's nothing much here and there's well there's not a lot of information we can find online regarding his time in Cumbria than what we've shown you in the video guys, um, yeah it's quite nice out here as well to be honest, as you can see guys. pretty chill that's why it's so busy today but this is where um, Fred West spent his working days in Cumbria here and he actually spent some working days in Carlisle as you heard the, the owner of the pub yesterday saying about they're up on the moors and stuff but we can't get there either it's all underground and there's not much information online to tell you exact spots of where it was done, but yeah. It was right where that grey building is now. That's where the pipe work is, guys. Over there. So I mean, if you dug that up, 
Yeah, you find them bodies there. I put my house on him. I think I think you would. Why else would you f f fled? Why else would you flee? Cumbria leaving everything behind. I mean, leaving your clothes, your money, not even paying your bill at the place where we'd been. And just fleeing Cumbria. Leave a comment right now, guys, and why do you think Fred West fled Cumbria? It's crazy. I'm going to end the video right here. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see another serial killer location tour kind of thing, guys, drop a comment right now of who you want to see. And yeah, we can make it happen. I'm thinking about travelling to London maybe at some point this year and doing the Des Nielsen episode and stuff. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, skirt around town like I'm Batman. Ah, black out here for your mad fam. Ah, my foot to flight out to Thailand. I go down under like a hitman. Ah, money on my mind, though, day fam. Ah, pick up the camera, let's make some.